So, what I have made here is a simple maze game. Now, it doesn't have any conditions yet, but I just want to explain how it works. So, what I've done to begin with is I've plotted my maze using some LEDs. I've set my Y position to zero and my X position to zero, and I've plotted that at that position. Now, what's happening here is whenever I press, so I'm going to run this, whenever I press the A and B button together, it will move this light down. Whenever I press the B button, it will move it across. So if I push this, you can see I can move down the screen. And I can do that again. So that's a simple maze game. Now what I've done here is you've got the X position and the Y position. I've used that from the word go. Now if I am using A and B together, it changes the Y position by 1. And Y, you'll notice it starts at 0, but when you increase it, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. The same happens with X. Now with X, the only reason I'm going backwards is because if I want to subtract and move to the left, this is how I would do it. So this is a simple maze game. You may want your students to add conditions which say if X and Y position are. So what I could do is do logic and I can say if X position okay is equal to so I can say if X position is equal is equal to one we're going to do another one and we'll go back to maths sorry logic and say if y position is equal to 4 and what I can do again in logic is I can say or so I can say if in fact I'm going to change that if x position is 1 and the y position is 4 we're going to say that is the end of our game. So I'm going to try and tidy this up and you can right click and clean up blocks and that tidies that up for you. So that's saying if my X position is 1 and my Y position is 4 I can then do a simple message that says well done you win. So let's try that out. So I'm going to press 1, let's go along, let's go down, and now, this is where you can teach your students about programming. This will only do this once at the beginning. This is where you'd need to add a forever loop that is always looking for that condition. So if I put that condition in there, and run my program again, I can go across, down, let's go back, and it says, well done, you win. So if you are doing a condition that you want to check over and over and over, you will want to put it in a forever loop. So that is a simple maze game. I hope you enjoyed.